All right, so this is a quick tip on how to remove the uh, lock cylinder. So say you need to replace the ignition switch. Before you can take this bezel off, you need to get the lock cylinder out of here. This is on a uh, 1970 GMC C10 pickup. It's the same for almost all of that era of the GM cars. So the first thing is you turn the key to the accessory position. Then there's a little hole right next to the key and you can use a paper clip. I'm using just a, a, a pick. And when you get to there, you'll feel it. There's a spring inside there, a little lever essentially that you're moving. This is the new switch I'm installing, but right there you can see that brass uh, button. That's, that's what you're pushing with the uh, paper clip or whatever you're using. Now you should be able to turn the key just past accessory, and then you should be able to pull it out. Now this particular lock, the key hole itself is damaged. So we're gonna have to get something else in there to pull on it, but we've got it unlocked at this point. Okay, so because this lock is damaged, the key came out without bringing the cylinder with it. So we're gonna try a couple other picks, see if we can get in there and just pull on the, the lock cylinder. Um, there we go. So normally the key when you unlock this, the key should not pull back out of the system. So don't, uh, once you get the key out, and so you saw me use the pick, um, once you get the cylinder out, don't turn the key again. Right now it's prepared to go back in and, and work. Um, this particular one, the, the cylinder itself is damaged in that locking position, so the key should not be able to pull in and out at this point. Um, what you can do is I'll clean all this up because this truck, the owner, uh, has not told me to go ahead and replace the keys on it, and you'd want to replace all of them if you were going to do it. Um, but because this lip is larger than the hole in here, you have to have this out to be able to take off this bezel, and then the bezel will let us get the ignition switch out. You can kind of now, you can see because of the different slots and stuff in there, you can kind of see why it locks in certain places. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. So you had a better idea of what you were actually trying to achieve. Like I said, you can do it with a paper clip or like this little straight pick. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.